Hello, my name is Ryan Bain from WebTech Global and this is a CSV to post tutorial. In this tutorial I am going to discuss the update options screen where we have the post content update and settings and at first look these settings can seem a little complicated. They offer a little more flexibility than other plugins when it comes to updating. That is the that is the main purpose of them, just to add a little bit of, a little bit of depth to the level of control that we have over what these plugins do. The, if we push them too hard they can have a, a, a performance effect on page loading speed and things like that. So we're trying to add some settings in there to allow users to tweak the plugin just that little bit more. Now the first thing that we have is the post updating switch over here. Now post updating switch will allow us to update posts in general. So this is just a, a, a switch. Switch it on and off. Do we want to update posts or do we not? And that one is simple. So we, we activate post updating and I think by default it is set to yes. Now the next one is automatic public updating. Now this is slightly different than any plugin I know. I may be, I may be wrong for them. This allows posts to be updated as they are being opened. All right. So when the, the the visitor comes to your blog and they, they click a link and that cl link is meant to open a post, what would happen is CSV to post will step in, check if that post was created, originally created by CSV to post, and it would do that by checking custom field values, stroke meta, data. And if it happens to be a CSV to post post, right? Um, the the plugin will then proceed to check if the the record that was used to create the post has changed in any way. Has it has it been updated? If so, it will proceed to then update the post, and it will do that before the visitor sees the post content. So the visitor is unaware that the the content that they were destined to see a moment ago has actually just been changed and so that's sort of doing that on the fly there's there's a lot of things to consider in doing that though if you have quite advanced features in use such as text spinning and and you're updating custom fields also then you need to consider how long it takes for a page to load on your blog already because obviously I don't know and as the, as, as the plugin authors we we don't know it might, it might already take um, a, a lot longer than really it should to, to load a page on your blog and therefore do you really want to add to that by having this this process happen so you have to think about that and automatic public updating can be just simply switched on, on and off so don't worry if you do find that it has a negative effect and adds to page load time just switch it off or consider other settings that you may be using that may not be needed or you could tweak those such as updating custom fields and so on. Now the next one is apply new content templates automatically. Right? Now this is all about changing the content template and then rebuilding the template uh, or rebuilding the content I should say in posts and doing it automatically rather than you having a, a sort of a manual action where you will assign or apply the new template the the plugin will do it and what it will do is it will do it systematically I think it will do it if I remember correctly there's a lot to remember it will do it during automatic public updating and the the, the updating basically just rebuilds the content as it's that simple but by selecting this option and clicking yes you're telling the plugin to apply updating when the template has changed so when the automatic public updating process kicks in and, and csv to post checks if this this post that's being visited needs to be updated because data may have changed it also checks if it needs to be updated because the template has changed so it adds to the to the, to the processing, not a lot though, it, it is marginal 
I should say, I mean, I, I've already sort of obviously just spoke about it, and it is usually marginal, but then I don't know what else you're doing in your blog. You could have other plugins running and making your blog quite busy, so you have to think about all that. So that's what applying new content template automatically is. Generally, we, it's all about getting that new new template on there. Now, if I just scroll down, we have prioritize page load speed. Now this is quite a special one because this is the start of us providing settings that offer that tweaking ability that I mentioned at the, the beginning. Prioritize page load speed basically applies the updates that we just spoke about, I've just spoken about, applies those updates after the post has been loaded rather than before. So your visitor will see the, the content that they were destined to see in the first place and nothing has changed until the page is finished loading, the update is applied and then what will happen is if that user happened to refresh the screen or visit again later or another visitor comes then the content will be different. 